Hello, be hearty again. And today is New Year's. And I'm here to talk about something that we normally don't talk about, and that is loneliness. Um, I do think it is appropriate to talk about this today because um, by all customs that I know about, New Year's is about partying, is about being with people, is about ar being around people. And there certainly are many, many people who either have no one that they can party with or can be together with or not the people that they want to be with for whatever reason. It could be anything. And they may start to slowly fall into this kind of space of of loneliness so that they start to feel the heaviness here they start to feel um some kind of self-pity and and victimhood like i'm doing everything and um if only anybody would would um see or ask me or you know all these kind of justifications that we often often have so um there is a lot of patterns, a lot of shades of, of the thing that we call loneliness. Now, there is also a loneliness while you are amongst people. I've been there myself and I found that being lonely amongst people is way harder than being lonely while you're sitting by yourself or have no company currently but that's certainly only my perception and my view on things um, I thought for me personally especially when you're in a relationship when you don't feel the resonance around you whether it's a relationship or a family um, that you normally think this is my framework this is where I come from this is where I belong and you don't feel like it resonates I found that much harder because there was nothing in that field that I was in that would resonate with me. And resonance is beautiful. Resonance is like like a song in my heart. It's like, oh, I like to be here. Oh, I like to talk to these people. Oh, I like to listen to these people. Oh, I like just to sit in that energy, in that atmosphere. So there's different different things that we can say about loneliness. Now, what can we do about it? Um, <laughs> in my own experience, the way um, to deal with your loneliness is um, it's definitely not easy, but what is easy in life? And um, it is a journey, like everything is a journey. So for me to even acknowledge that I could feel way more lonely and thus um, heavy and, and not happy when I was amongst people that I thought there are my whatever family tribe whatever you call it partner and feel lonely in that uh, surrounding energy field and company to acknowledge that and say to myself oh my goodness I'd rather be alone than lonely amongst people so that was a choice of mine that I I um I made I said okay so if that feels so uncomfortable, why do I why do I surround myself with this energy field? Why do I dip into it? Certainly I did as long as I needed to learn where is the point that I want to step out. And I I did step out. I had to because it is it is so depleting. So learning to to be alone and not lonely was a bit easier than I thought it would be because I I noticed that I found it very very pleasant to just be in my own company and just do what I like to do and that felt like like a field that was resonating with me like I was feeling this kind of ah oh this is good I'm doing what I want to do so I wasn't obliging anymore to what I thought I had to do or that time of the year or day I needed to be with this person or these people um, so I just stepped out of that I just made a different decision for that situation or day of the year 
And I sit with myself. They often say when you have a problem or something that hurts um, emotionally, physically, whatever, just sit with it. And it is a very, very good expression. I really like that expression. So sitting with it and just trying out. I've been sitting in the company of people and felt lonely. And then I started sitting with myself. Sitting could be just sitting and just feeling. How do I feel? How does my body feel? How does my heart space feel? Is it lighter? Is it heavy? And then I thought, oh, I'm free to do, to read my book. I'm free to, to go for a walk or just sit here in my own space. I'm free to just have a cup of tea in the middle of the night. I have no obligation whatsoever to do anything that in this group of people or in the company of certain people seems to be a set pattern or a rule that does not even suit me. So you see, when I talk about all this, you can see that there is so many parts of that being lonely and sitting in a space that doesn't resonate with me. It has so many aspects that actually don't suit me, that don't make me happy, or at least they, if they don't make me happy, they, they most of the time make me uncomfortable or even unhappy. So I can see all these little aspects and even pick them out to make a decision and say, I think I try out something different. And then you can go and, and, and pick something different and make a different decision. So this, <clears throat> I could extend this kind of talk for a long, long time because of the, of the vastness of the subject um, of uh, being lonely. I often, when I was asked when I wasn't in relationships or not with my my family at times of celebrations, uh, do I not feel lonely? And I didn't. I could say, no, I don't. And there is for me like two things. There is being alone and there's feeling lonely. So I can be alone in a situation just by myself and feel lonely. And I can be just by myself and not feel lonely. I can just feel, oh, this is me. I can feel the expansion of me, the real one that I am, the one that has so many desires and wishes and ideas that I want to try out and I haven't. I haven't because I have looked at the desires, wishes, feelings of my surrounding and I have tried to satisfy their needs, wishes, uh, beliefs, whatever. They haven't even asked me very often. It was just me, my uh, desire to feel harmony around me. That was my main driving uh, force to, to keep me in certain situations because I like harmony. So I had to also learn to sit with disharmonious energies without running away or without trying to fix it. So you can see there's so many facets of it. But let's say what happens out of all this. It was a lovely journey. It has led me into um, a state that I really enjoy because I am able to understand myself way better than I ever have. And I can just choose every single moment what I'm going to do. So today is New Year's and I'm not really feeling like celebrating, but I wouldn't opt out um, to say, oh, I feel like going into town and, and sit somewhere and have a glass of wine or a coffee or whatever I feel. I... I'm not conventional in any shape or form. So if everybody wants a drink, I may only want a tea or a coffee. And I'm still very happy. I'm still enjoying that. It still resonates with me. So I will make a choice about what I call New Year's um, later. I've already made a choice. <laughs> I have started my way in my own in my own manner. And I would say if you feel desperately lonely, uh, reach out 
I will certainly be online because if you know me of as be hard, I'm on Facebook, so you can PM me and we can have a little chat just to tie you over if you're desperate and you're not feeling good and don't feel bad about it. Do it because <coughs> if I receive your message and I can respond that very moment and I'm not in a different conversation at the moment, I will. And if it takes me an hour or two or more, uh, I will still respond as soon as I can. This is this is the way I operate. If you have someone else you want to reach out to do it, just do it. Just chat with someone. It doesn't matter. And it doesn't it doesn't look desperate, as a lot of people say. If you reach out a New Year's Eve to someone to chat with the person, you don't have to say, I feel lonely, but you... You, you can, you know, whatever, just do what you like. But it's not, and even if it feels desperate, who who cares? It's your life. You have to deal with your challenges. So whatever other people think, I always say that. It's their problem, not yours. But what you think of other people about them, that's your problem. That's mine, <laughs> what I think. So anyway, I wish you the best day, evening, morning, you can have today, no matter whether we give this day the label of New Year's or not. And then if I invite you to join me either here on my YouTube channel or on Facebook or connect with me otherwise, um, if you wish to. I do a lot of work around self-worth and releasing of stuck energies, of um, behavioral patterns, and um, yeah, and things like that, that could um, help you feel much, much lighter, much more spacious. Um, it's my own journey that I share in the end. And my journey is a journey of enormous fun every single day, um, because I'm doing a lot of these things every single day releasing all this stuff and just keeping note of what I'm doing and how I am feeling and I love to be here and I love to be of service so much much love and I talk to you soon again bye